Hello Libra. Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do an August update reading for you. This is a general reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I did pull your astrology card prior to the reading. I want to tell you about that a little bit. The decks that you see me use in my readings are available on my website for purchase, guidedangelcc.com. There is a link in the description box below that will take you to my website along with any other information that you want to know about me. So let me tell you what happened, Libra. I did your, I did your reading. I started it. And I had an interruption. I actually lost my tarot cards, which you'll hear me explain about in the video. I'm stitching this onto the front of the video because for some reason this was on the only portion that was lost. I paused my camera to go look for my cards because they weren't here on the table. And then I came back and I restarted the video. But then when I went in to get your video, the whole first part was missing. So for your Wisdom of the Oracle cards, I pulled this uh, from, from this deck, the Wisdom of the Oracle cards, you got the Observer and Time to Go. So I felt like it was time for you to um, take a look at the bigger picture and possibly leave a situation. Your reading was really good, Libra. And I didn't want to do it over. So that's why I'm doing like this little thing. But the only thing that was really missing, everything else is explained in the reading, but the only thing that was really missing was the information about the astrology card. So I just want to tell you about that. And then I'm just going to let you watch the rest of the reading. Sorry. So I pulled the 10th house, which is the world. And that is Cap Capricorn energy. It is about your career. It does talk about the fact that you may be dealing with an older, wiser man, a father or a father figure, a grandfather, or even a boss. This is a very good card. It is about fame and the world at large. There is a primary male influence or powerful man around you who may be of assistance. This card is also about your reputation. You are feeling good right now. You're feeling on top of the world. You are confident in everything that you're doing and you are able to go after what you want and you won't settle for less. You're putting forth a very diligent effort to climb and advance your good name. Since this card is ruled by Saturn, it is all about truth and honesty. Remember that truth and honesty will help you achieve your goals at this time. People are talking about you, your creation, or what you're doing. You are in the spotlight right now. You may be contacted by the news media or become recognized in some type of public forum receiving awards. This could involve government, foreigners, or travel to distant lands. Illusions and obstacles will be removed for you at this time. In love, this represents an older, wiser person who may be very well established or elite that you may meet. Take advantage of this situation. This card is about reaching the top or seeing how high you can go. You may acquire some land and then can and can therefore grow crops, plants, farmers or farming. You will reap whatever you sow. You will get back whatever you give. You may be a legacy who goes down into the history books. This card is also about power, authority, influential people, world travel, the public, the internet, the father, the husband, the boss. Aging, time, clocks, sucking up to get ahead, hard work, planning, banks, the privileged or elite people, success, wisdom, and destiny. With that said, I am going to leave that part there and I'm going to you know, like I said, I'm going to put this in front of your reading. I feel like everything else has been explained, you know, in the rest of the reading. All right. Thank you, Libra. Sorry that I messed up on your video, but it's good. Keep watching. Okay. I'll see you soon. Okay, Libra, I am back. So I'll tell you that 
I lost the tarot cards. I went to reach for them um, sitting here at my table, and I'm like, where are my cards? And I forgot that. I went to go get a drink of water in the kitchen before I did your reading, and um, I left the tarot card sitting on my kitchen counter. So <laughs> you may forget where you put something, but don't worry, you'll find it. That's really all I'm going to get from that. Anyway, all right, show me the messages for Libra, please. I'm using the Arcanum Tarot today. Show me Libra for August, the rest of August, please. Death. Well, something is ending here, Libra. Uh, you definitely have to move on from something. Hmm. Death card, sign of Scorpio, is about change. The lovers, ooh, you need to leave a relationship, Libra. This could be a business partnership as well, because I'm kind of feeling business with this reading. doesn't have to be. I mean, we'll see where it goes. This is Gemini. The storm outside is so bad. Like, I can't even believe what's happening right now. I'm sitting here looking out my window, and I'm sorry if I seem a little distracted, but my whole house is rattling. It's like a tornado out there. It's crazy. So <laughs> I don't know, Libra, there might be one heck of a storm blowing into your life. That's all I'm going to say. So some type of a partnership is ending here with the lovers in reverse. It's time to go. It's over. It's time to change. It's time to move on. Something is destiny. Something is faded. Whew. This is... Um, I don't know. This is a pretty good reading. I'm feeling a sacrifice type of energy here. I feel like you're going to get some type of big opportunity and it's going to cause you to have to... I just said this in somebody else's reading when I was doing last week. I don't know. Maybe it was you, but I'm feeling that energy again where it's almost like you have to throw away everything that you've ever known to go possibly in a new direction and take this opportunity show me thank you the nine of cups reversed hmm sign of pisces so that is unhappiness not getting what you want you may not give someone what they want maybe someone is trying to hold on to you and you're trying to leave that is unhappiness, possibly depression. That's also like a, um, what do you call that word? Like a smug energy, a conceited person. Hmm. All right, let's get one more. All right. Judgment in reverse. Procrastination and indecision. So... <sighs> I'm feeling like you really don't want to do something. It's going to make you unhappy to end something and walk away. So you're putting off this decision, but you need to look at this bigger picture here. I feel like this is big, Libra. Let's get one more. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords, communication, cutting something out of your life. Once again, I'll take that one. Five of Swords. Hmm, mind games. Ace of Swords is remaining on the bottom. Someone that doesn't want to hear your point of view. Aquarius energy. Under the Ace of Swords, we have the Two of Swords. You don't want to make this decision. You have the clarity, but you're not doing it. I don't know. Two of Swords is a stalemate to me. I, I get this energy here that someone, it's almost like you've made a decision, this is what I'm going to do, and then you go and you communicate it to this other person, and they're like very upset, having a fit, don't want to let you go, doing anything that they can to hold on to you, and then that's making you procrastinate and be undecided maybe I'm making a bad decision maybe I shouldn't do this if this person's going to be unhappy with me let's get some uh hmm let's get some minis show me the death card 
Show me the death card for Libra, please. What is ending here? Show me the death card for Libra. Okay. Oh, it's a lot. All right, well, we're getting repeating cards. The world is here. The Nine of Cups is here. And the Ace of Swords is here. So the world is, once again, something is over. It's like you're communicating that someone's something is over. Or you're thinking about ending something to get something better. Something what you want. Your heart's desire. Your emotional fulfillment. Your happiness. Huh. Show me the Nine of Cups reversed. Show me this Nine of Cups. Nine of Swords. Also in the reverse, which is recovery. See, someone wants to recover this relationship and have a new beginning because they're very passionate about you. They're very attracted to you. And you're trying to start something else. It's like two people pulling on you or two directions pulling on you. And it's a very difficult choice. It's like, you know, in this car, this is Libra energy. This this person is choosing between her parents. Her mother and her father are fighting. And she doesn't want to choose because no matter what, somebody's going to get hurt here. Which just means that, you know, the, you got the Ace of Swords, you got the Two of Swords, the Three of Swords is next. I know what I should do. The moon is there. I'm not confused. I'm not afraid. I have clarity. Ace of Swords twice. But when I do this, when I make this decision, it's going to break someone's heart. Hmm. I know that you had something recently about breaking a heart, too. So you're still sitting in this energy. Show me what's on the bottom. Oh, my Lord. Did that just happen? The Three of Swords reversed. <gasps> All right. Show me this Judgment card in reverse. That is Libra energy as well. So that's a healing energy. Someone wants to heal. Someone wants to apologize. Someone loves you. Someone wants a new beginning with you. Two of Wands, you're at this crossroads again. You're not making this decision. You're torn. You're torn between two things. Two things that you love. Something you're very passionate about. This is a blessing. Like you got literally four aces because the Ace of Swords is showing up twice. Your new beginning is here. I just feel like somebody's trying to stop it. Somebody's watching you. Something's faded here. You're meant to... You're being noticed. You're being recognized by another person. This could even be career. I mean, I know that I've pointed that out. Two of Wands. Judgment showing up in reverse again. Somebody can't decide. Somebody can't decide what to do. Show me the Five of Swords, the Moon. Hmm. We're getting repeating cards. Magician. You got, there's another one. I mean, this is insane. You have all of the tools you need to be successful and to do something. Somebody's stopping you. Somebody's talking in your ear. Somebody's saying something to make you rethink your decision. Something's clearly over here. But whatever this person is saying is making you confused. Maybe I'm not making the right choice. Hmm. Seven of Swords reversed. Aquarius. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Your Aquarius here as well. You're basically unsure because someone is playing mind games here. That's what's happening. This is victory that comes at a cost. There's something that you really need to let go of, and it's very, very difficult. I feel like it's for the other person, though. You're feeling guilty. You're feeling guilty. There's your Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So you're feeling guilty, and you're going to miss this opportunity because of what another person is saying and making you confused. Wow. Get some. Let's get some uh, Romance Angels here. This is a fantastic reading. You had all four Aces here. Look at that Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Swords, that could be who you're dealing with. This is the person that doesn't want to hear what you have to say. This person has harsh words, too. You're thinking about making a recovery with a person. You need to go. Something, some kind of big opportunity is here for you, and I feel like you're going to miss it. Show me Libra, please, for 
That's success. That's skills. Somebody is recognizing you for your skills. You're wanted. Somebody wants you. I feel like this is job related. Almost like an employer is possibly trying to hold on to you. Attraction again. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You're attracted to something. You're inspired about something. You're feeling good about something. This is something that has a lot of potential. A lot of potential. And yes, it is a mystery. You're going to need to use your intuition. You're going to need to use your psychic abilities here. This also represents dreams, you know. I feel like this is somebody's dream. Somebody's dream is about to come true. And there's a person that's holding you back. Show me one more for Libra, please. Show me Libra. Release your ex. There it is. Let it go, Libra. It's time to go. It's time to end it. No matter what this person is saying, finances and career. Hmm. Wow. There is, I'm getting like a very, very, um, direct story here unfortunately i know it's not going to resonate with everyone i feel like this is job related i do with the finances and career and i feel like someone has noticed your skills someone wants you someone's recognizing you someone is talking about you possibly even the potential to become famous here because the moon card is a mystery right so this person is the one that is look i mean look at this person they're like devastated like oh my gosh please don't leave me please I, I i can't live without you i'm so depressed i'm so unhappy i'm crying you're not going to get what you want because you're not letting go of this person wow this i feel like it's a job this is wish fulfillment dreams coming true this is a beautiful reading Make the decision, Libra, whatever it is. <laughs> Show me Libra, please, for the rest of August 2020. Go for it. I say go for it. I don't know what it is. Lovers. One more. Privileged lady. Journey. Somebody's going away. Somebody's obviously going away from some type of relationship. They don't want to. This could even be. So if you have, if you're in a relationship with a person, because this talks about being the primary male influence. I feel like I'm reading for the males. Somebody has a big opportunity to go somewhere, to go on a journey and leave possibly a privileged lady or become a privileged lady if a man is offering you this somebody has met somebody that's very wealthy well established someone has a lot of potential look at this wow they're just trapped wow libra i don't know i, I don't want you to miss this opportunity libra hmm Somebody just doesn't want to let go of you or you don't want to let go of something. That's manifesting. Making things happen. This is potential for long term. Infinity symbol. You're stuck and you can't leave. Why can't you leave? Show me Libra, please, for the rest of august 2020 i'm trying to keep these readings short guys so i'm just going to keep it moving take what resonates i feel like this is big be assertive you're ready hmm go for it go for it you're ready big happy changes on the bottom of the deck wow 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 and wow so libra I hope that I was able to help someone with this reading today because even that card said it's time for you to go after what you want, take action, manifest this new beginning, move on from something that's just over, possibly a new job. Someone may have to travel the world and leave someone home or leave their home. Wow. 
All right, I'm going to leave that there, Libra. I'll drive myself nuts just sitting here looking at these cards. Good luck with your situation. It's beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon.